Hi guys, this is Nicole. Thank you so much for joining. For this week's Fresh Tech Friday, I'm going to take an inspiration from Case Study Challenge for this month or this week. So I'm going to link up to, I'm going to link their website on my blog post so you can check that out and enter one yourself. So I'm going to do some watercoloring background for today's card. It's going to be a fun a yellow black theme card. So um, I'm going to take Tim Holtz watercolor paper and I'm going to secure this onto my uh, wood board. And this is actually a file um, holder, I think. I don't know what it's called exactly, but you know, like you can get it from regular office store and things like that. And I'm going to use painter's tape to secure all four sides. All right, so I've secured it. This is to help so that when the paper is drying, it won't warp as much and it kind of dries straight so you don't have to worry about adhe adhering on your card base and things like that. So um, I like to do natural drying, but if you're hurrying, uh, if you're short on time and you want to get like a fast drying, use a heat tool. So I'm going to use watercolor cakes that I just bought. This is Simply Art by Low Cornell. And this is like $6. So it's like a really good um, watercolor cakes that you can use if you are first trying it for the first time or you're not sure if you want to really get into it or invest in it before you know what it is. So I would highly recommend getting these. It has a lot of colors, great value, a lot of bang for your buck. Obviously, this is not the top of the line brand that you're going to get. But this is a great start uh, watercolor pan cakes that you can get. So I know Simon Says uh, Simon Says Stamp is probably out of stock and I know Ellen Hudson is going to be bringing some inventory as well. Right now you can get this on Amazon so I will link that up below as well. So I'm going to open it and for today I'm just going to use the yellow colors only so I'm going to let me just put this over here that way I can use it nicely and I have my water for my water coloring and I'm going to be using a big brush so I just want to make sure I'm saturating it really really well and a quick tip for blending your background water coloring really well is to saturate your paper with clean water before you put down the color so I'm just gonna go around and wet the paper really really well and by the way I'm using a smoother side of the watercolor paper okay and this kind of helps the water colors to blend really really well and naturally so I'm going to start with this medium shade of yellow I'm gonna put it in first just all over and you can add more water as you go. And I'm going to go with a darker yellow color. Then kind of go around and dot it. I'm going to add more water so that it kind of blends in really well, way well. Alright, so here is the background that I worked on. There are some white spots and there are some darker spots and lighter spots. And I'm going to set this dry naturally. Like I said before, if you're short on time, use a heat tool that you have. But I like to let it dry naturally. Just um, I like the results better. And once this is dry, probably like an hour or so, and then I'll come back to the card and we'll finish up the rest of the card together. All right, so it's all dried and I cut it at a four by five and a quarter to go right on top of my card base. And before we work on our card base, I'm going to dress up the main focus a little bit more. So we're going to use a big sentiment for this car. So I'm going to take Mama Elephant Make-A-Wish stamp set. And I'm going to take out this big happy birthday to you sentiment. I'm going to stamp it on, or I'm going to press it on my stamp press. I 
I'm going to use a VersaFine Onyx Black ink and ink it up because I want it to show really, really well and stand out. So I like to use black pigment ink and black onyx ink by VersaFine is really, really good. So ink it up really nicely. We're going to take off the layer. Go ahead and stamp in the center. And I'm going to take out charcoal mid-tone ink from Hera Arts. This is one of their shadow ink. And the stamp set has this really small stars that are super adorable. I'm going to use ink pad and stamp it. And I'm going to go around and stamp stars here and there just to kind of dress it up. Alright, so now I'm going to take my 3D foam tape and I'm going to use to attach my layer. And I'm just going to put the foam tape on the four sides of the card layer. Okay, I'm going to take card base. This is Simon Says Stamp Heavyweight Cardstock. Just want something heavy to hold on to the shape of the card because when we put the 3D foam tape it'll be kind of strong to pull it so I'm gonna place it right on top of our card base that way with a heavy card stock card base doesn't really um, ruin the shape because of the 3D foam tape so I'm gonna dress up really quick with Wink of Stella, and this is a clear glitter. I'm gonna just do a little bit on the stars that we stamped with a gray ink pad. All right, so you can see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. There's a little shimmer, there we go. There's a little shimmer on the stars. It's really pretty. I thought it would be a perfect way to kind of shine our stamped image. So there is the card for today. Thank you so much for watching. For all the supplies that are used on this project are listed below on the YouTube description section. So you can click the arrow to see all the list. And if you want to see more details and more photos about this project, please visit my website at scrapsandstems.com. And if you want to connect with me, please follow me on Instagram and Facebook as I post sneak peeks and special project pictures on those as well. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.